What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new electric scooter to review. This is the awesome Leopard. This thing goes 34 miles an hour. We're gonna get it unboxed, assembled, take it out on a ride, tell you guys how it is, and tell you guys if it's worth the money. It's on sale right now for $850. Let's cut this thing open. Oh, there's just another box in there, great. Literally just the exact same box. All right, we got some nice styrofoam packaging. Here, um, we can just about pick this yeah, up. Yeah, let's pick it up. Ready? Go. There it is, that, like that, ladies and gentlemen, is the awesome Leopard. Awesome. Actually, it's a really good looking scooter. This is better looking than a lot of the other ones we were, we've reviewed. And for this price point, it looks very premium. It does look like it has a folding feature. Go ahead and drop that in, since cinch this guy down. Big old screen on there, that's sweet. All right, guys, we got the awesome Leopard all assembled. Super easy process. You guys saw that quick time lapse. We're gonna go over what you get with the scooter in the box, and then we're gonna show you how to use it, and then we're gonna head out on a ride. So first, you get a very basic owner's manual here. You get a fairly low quality multi-tool, but it's very nice to have. You can tighten all the bolts as you build the scooter. You get a charger. This takes 10 hours to charge the scooter, so it is a fair bit of time but it's one of those things where you just plug it in at night forget about it it'll be charged the next day you also get a very low quality pump for pumping up the tires we don't have it here we really recommend just getting a little bit nicer pump and you'll be able to use that a lot easier next up we have the scooter so we'll show you how to turn this thing on this confused us for a second at first because you turn the key and you think it'll just turn on but it doesn't there's this button hiding underneath the throttle so you hold that fires up, your light will turn on if it's toggled on. That's what this is right here. You have a really bright headlight. Like you guys can see that reflecting off the wall. We have turn signal lights, you've got a tail light. Really nice setup here. You have your turn signals, you can flash them. There is one right here on the front. So you can do that, there is a horn. That's actually a pretty loud horn when you really lay on it. On our display here, this is a nice looking display. We have our mileage, odometer, our trip meter. You can tell if your light's on or off, your battery. Um, that's gonna be your voltage of your battery, your speed, and then your ride mode. There's three different ride modes. You'll use that same button that you turn the scooter on with. Push it, you'll go into mode two. Push it again, you'll go into mode three. So that's your highest power mode. The th throttle response, we're very impressed so far on the really brief ride we've taken. But we're gonna head out on the road in a second and really test that. One of my favorite things about this scooter is for the price point, it's really well built and has a lot of cool, unique features. One being this seat. Now you can take this off, you really do not have to have this on, but it's kind of fun to ride a scooter while sitting down. It kind of makes you feel old, makes you feel a little bit goofy while you're riding it, but it's kind of a, a fun experience to just cruise, have a really smooth sensation that scooters provide. Bikes always have chains and things that aren't quite as smooth. Scooters are just smooth and fun and fast. So speaking of fast, this scooter has a top speed of 34 miles an hour. It has a 48 volt battery with 21 amp hours of capacity. It's rated to like 52 miles of range, which is really good range. We'll kind of get a, a brief idea of that during our test ride. We'll see if we think we're gonna make it that far. We have a thousand watt hub motor in the rear. We just have a single motor on this scooter. Others we've tested have dual, but this seems to have pretty good pep and speed for just a single motor. The scooter also has a cool braking setup where it has brake sensors in the brakes. So when you pull them, it actually uses the motor to regenerative brake, kind of like an electric car does. If you keep pulling your brakes, you're gonna engage dual disc brakes front and back and it's also gonna use that regenerative braking at the same time. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to fold this scooter, which is kind of unique because it does have a seat on it. So what you're gonna do, you do have to just pull off 
this upper portion to be able to fold it completely. But you could just take this in your bag or whatever. You're gonna pop this latch. You kind of release this down, tip that over. Next, we'll loosen this guy right here. Super quick, spin it out, pull this here. You can tip it over and you can use this little latcher to come down here, hook it on, and then you're folded. You can actually carry your scooter, whatever you wanna do. It unfortunately doesn't fit to have the whole seat folded up here. We've tried every different way we could think of, but I think a lot of people aren't gonna ride this with the seat, so you're gonna be just fine really. And you can just quickly fold it back, screw that back in. Pop this back up, put your latch back on. Pop that down, put your seat back on. And that is all the way set up, even when your seat was off previously, you are good to go. Okay, let's take this baby out on a ride, check its top speed with our GPS cycling computer, kind of get an idea on range, see how it feels. All right guys, starting off the awesome Leopard scooter ride. So far, so good. This thing is smooth and it actually has got a lot of pep. I'm in mode two right now and we're just cruising. I've been kind of trying out the seat. It is very cushiony, it does have a spring on it. So I kind of feel goofy riding like this, but it's fun. You can kind of just like carve in kind of a unique way that you know you kind of don't do on a bike necessarily. I will say sitting down is a little weird going really fast. So. I'm kind of topping out at about 20 miles an hour sitting down and then if I want to go faster than say we are right now, I'll just stand up and ride it like a normal scooter and it feels really nice. As we continue this review, I'll kind of do my best to convey how the scooter feels, how it rides, what I like about it, what I may not like about it. I've ridden and reviewed a lot of scooters and a lot of smaller e-bikes and kind of can compare how they all do how fast they are, how they feel to ride. So far, I'm very impressed with this scooter for the price. What's Alex doing? He's just vibing. For the price of $850, this scooter really does provide a lot of bang for your buck, especially having the seat and some of the other features such as like the turn signals, the horn, all the light setup. It's a really bright light. I'm anxious to try it at night. And they quote you a pretty good range. 52 miles is really an insane range. And I think you're kind of going to be lucky to get half of that in all reality. In all the electric vehicles we've tested, which is a lot now, we really only can get about half of the quoted range on any given vehicle. You got to take that stuff with a grain of salt. But so far, the, the Leopard is feeling really good. It feels good to sit down, feels good to stand up. The display is super easy to read. This is probably one of the most high-end displays I've seen on anything remotely this price point. Just in the fact that it's so easy to read. It's got really nice trip odometer. It shows your modes. Doesn't do anything extra fancy, but again, it doesn't need to. And so when it comes down to it, you know, if your display has a ton of stuff you're never going to use, then kind of what's the point because it's just more stuff to go wrong. It's more software that might need to get fixed. This just works. Now we just hit a steep hill here. I switched up from mode two to mode three and we are going quite a bit slower. You can drop a foot and do a couple of kicks. To emphasize that, that's a really steep hill. But it's pulling my 180 pounds straight up the hill. Alex is catching up, but he's pedaling his e-bike. It's the only way he's passing me. If I give it a kick, I can probably keep up. So we need to test the top speed of this. They quoted it at 34 miles an hour. We'll have to see how accurate that is. In our experience, usually companies quote just a little bit high, but I would imagine we'll be able to get into the 30 mile an hour just fine, which is plenty fast. In all reality, you don't really ride scooters much faster than 20, 25 at the most. They just, that's where they feel comfortable. Kind of like I'm doing right now, I'm doing 20 miles an hour, just having fun, riding with a buddy. That's what they're made for, cruising around the neighborhood. You could commute a little ways on this if you want. And when you get tired, you just sit down. 
Okay guys, it's time for a little bit of a top speed run here. Okay, we're at 25 miles an hour, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let me crouch down, get a little more aerodynamic, 29. Come on, get 30, 30. That is our limit. Let's pull out our GPS cycling computer and see what it was actual on GPS and see how accurate this display is. All right, we got the top speed run done. We indicated 30 miles an hour on the display. Let's check our GPS cycling computer. Okay, I saw it real quick before it turned off. We got 27.7 miles an hour was our max speed. So I'm six foot three, 185 pounds. I got a lot of wind slowing me down at this point. We weren't able to hit 34 miles an hour top speed that they quote. You might be able to do that on a downhill or if you're a lighter rider, but honestly, 27 is not that bad. It feels plenty fast on this vehicle. I, I feel a lot more comfortable in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range, just cruising on this, sitting on the seat. It's really fun, you guys. Okay, we're gonna throw Alex on this scooter and see what he thinks of it, and then we'll head back to the house and do a little recap tell you guys if we think this scooter is worth the money. Okay guys, usually Lance does a pretty good job at explaining how these scooters perform, but I had to hop on here because I needed to test out this seat. Because this is the first seat that we've been able to test that comes on a scooter, and I'm kind of digging it. It makes me feel like I'm a moped just cruising around, and it makes for a really comfy ride. I think we'd better do a curb test right here, see how the suspension performs. And it feels pretty solid. Wow. For a cheaper scooter, I would say that this suspension is keeping up with it and it really feels like it supports the weight of the scooter. We've tried other scooters in the past that come with pretty crappy suspension. They pretty much just throw it on there to say that it has suspension. It doesn't hold up the scooters very well, but I feel like this does pretty good. I'm going up a slight hill right now and we're slowing down pretty significantly. I think that is because this scooter only has one 1000 watt motor instead of two on some scooters that we've tested. That's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about purchasing this scooter is it does not come with two motors. I think this scooter is perfect for if you're planning on just commuting to maybe your job or friend's house or just riding it around. It doesn't reach that crazy of a top speed. It only goes about 32 miles an hour but I think it's perfect and it's a really comfortable, very smooth scooter. I love this display that comes on the scooter. Lots of scooters don't come with a very intuitive display and this one has quite a few features on there. They show your miles per hour, your different modes, your battery, your volts, how far you've gone and your headlight. I also love that it includes the turn signals. That's just another safety feature that could help you out on the road. Okay, let's head back to the house and we'll do a recap there. All right guys, we made it back from our first test ride on the awesome Leopard scooter. I think in our opinion, this is a great value for $850. It's on sale right now. Check the link in our description to go ahead and purchase one. We don't really get anything from saying that this is a good scooter, you guys, but we really think it's great quality for the price point. And I think it really competes with some of the $1,000 and even $1,200 scooters as far as the build quality, the features, how it feels on the road. I'd say the one thing that's lacking compared to the more expensive scooters is it's just not quite as fast or as powerful. But as far as build quality, it feels super solid when you ride it, which is what a lot of people would like, especially on a scooter. It makes you feel comfortable and safe while you ride it. So I think we're super happy with this. I love that it comes with a seat. It's been super fun to get out on a ride on it. We didn't really have an opportunity to test the actual realistic range of the scooter. But like I said in the review video, I would probably cut their quoted range of 52 miles at least in half. And that's gonna be probably pretty close to what you're gonna get. Companies just far exaggerate that. But we'll have to get out and ride this more and see if it can put up to the test. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video. We'll catch you next time. See ya.